encouraging course designer engagement with data analysis methods in virtual learning environments. Our paper reports on the impact of using a simple software tool to demonstrate to course designers the use of data mining for the evaluation of virtual learning environment-based learning activities, with the goal of increasing course designers' future engagement with evaluating the effectiveness of their learning activities through the use of data mining. The use of virtual learning environments, VLEs, to augment learning opportunities through online resources has been identified as being utilised in a high proportion of educational institutions within the UK. The adoption of such technologies has led to a wider range of tools to engage learners with topics relating to their learning. This increased reliance on resources to be used by students independently has created new challenges for learners and developers. For a learner to be successful in their studies they must engage with effective and time-efficient learning on a VLE. Our previous research related to the development of a Moodle VLE plugin called MooTwit that performed the identification of student disengagement with learning on the VLE and attempted to positively change their engagement levels through automated prompting using social media direct messaging, with the identification of the behavioral change being data mined from the VLE. The value of detecting student behavior from data mining Moodle and the complexity of formulating a solution to extract data suggested that users of VLEs would benefit from simple-to-use data mining tools. The study presented here explores the current practices at Lincoln College UK and seeks to understand if the provision of a simple-to-use data mining tool would encourage the technique to be used by designers in the future for identifying the effectiveness of their learning resources. There have been many studies into the use of data from virtual learning environments. Their common theme is the success in generating the information from the data. The papers that influence this study include Muhammad and Tazia in their paper Educational Data Mining provided a good overview of existing VLE data mining. The data mining tool design and operation was influenced by papers on previously produced VLE data extraction tools, the most influential being Romero's tool for selecting, visualizing and mining usage data, Yen's enhanced learning analytics plugin for Moodle, and Zhang's tutorial on data mining in course management systems. Papers that supported the techniques used in the study to classify and analyze data extracted from VLEs were Cause Classification and Prediction-Based Data Mining Algorithms paper, and Lu provided knowledge acquisition for learning analytics techniques. The conclusions drawn from these previous studies consistently avoid establishing whether there was any positive impact to either the course designer, deliverer or the learners themselves. This study's motivation is to investigate whether the suggested usefulness of data mining is recognized by course developers when they are presented with a simple-to-use tool, and whether it would become part of their future practices for evaluating the effectiveness of their learning activities. The study selected participants from teaching staff who use the Moodle VLE at Lincoln College UK. Any existing data mining skills the staff had, or the subjects they taught did not form part of the selection process. To ensure suitable teachers were selected, the college Moodle VLE was data mined by filtering Moodle's access log for staff who logged in and modified material on Moodle at least once over a seven-day period. This process was repeated for four weeks resulting in 58 candidates who consistently engaged with the system. A sample size of 51 was identified as being a representative sample of the 58 lecturers who use Moodle frequently for teaching activity giving a 5% margin of error with a confidence level of 95%. The intent of the study was to identify if data mining methods and techniques were demonstrated as a simplified process to the investigation's participants. Would this increase their acceptance of data mining for evaluating VLE course content effectiveness? The process was simplified by developing a desktop application called MooLog that automated data analysis and presentation of the results. MooLog processes the data related to student accesses to VLE-based materials and activities contained within a Moodle course and by importing an optional learner grades data file it is possible to filter resource usage by students and grades. The participants were surveyed online twice, with the second survey containing a video demonstration that was presented without any narrative or voiceover to try to reduce any bias towards the usefulness of the software being introduced. 
Google Forms and YouTube were used as the survey and demonstration platform as they facilitated effective distribution of information and collection of quantitative data. The survey links were distributed to each candidate via email and to ensure a sufficient response rate tutors were contacted the week after the initial email to encourage completion. The surveys were created with a focus on the two key areas of the study. A pre-demonstration survey with questions to establish existing working practices of the users. A second post-demonstration survey identifying if the participants found the data mining software features useful for evaluating VLE resources. The questions relating to course designers' existing practices identified how they use Moodle for learning, how they organize and structure resources on Moodle, if or how they evaluate their course design, their ability to gather data about student activity on Moodle, the percentage of their Moodle course materials and activities that are vital to complete a course. It was expected that these questions would provide a basic picture of their planning and evaluation of digital learning and how important the VLE was to learners' success. The post-demonstration survey collected participants' perception of the usefulness of the mined data. The data when processed as information in the form of a chart in MooLog allowed the participants to know how many of a student group accessed each resource, how many total accesses there were to a Moodle resource, effectively its popularity, and enabled the identification of resources that had low or zero usage, resources that were used based on a cohort's achievement level, and the ability to find an individual student's usage. The participants rated each of these items as not useful, slightly useful, useful, important or essential. The pre-demonstration survey established to what extent the participants made use of the VLE's features and identified any existing techniques used to evaluate the course activities and materials. To ascertain what types of learning activity took place using Moodle, developers were asked to identify their most frequently used elements in the VLE. The results were mixed with 48% using it as a system for student self-study, nearly all 92% used it as a store of reference material, only 25% for assessment, and 36% for communication and collaboration. Developers were asked how they organized resources on Moodle to identify if there was any specific structure used. 88% structured their materials in topics order or delivery sequence. The remaining did not relate the materials to a student's study sequence. This indicated a majority considered how the materials were to be accessed by the users, identifying there was some level of planning and structuring taking place. Designers were asked to identify their existing evaluation mechanisms. Most used some form of evaluation with 53% using student feedback and 10% using data. The remaining 37% did not evaluate or guessed. This suggests that although designers previously indicated that they structured their VLE courses, a significant proportion did not evaluate them or used informal feedback to influence improvements. Very few used data analysis, possibly indicating that this method is either unfamiliar, perceived as difficult or they lack the technical skills. To establish the skill level participants had in extracting VLE data, they were questioned about their effectiveness at retrieving information about a student's activity from Moodle. The results indicated that 32% were below average or without ability at retrieving data, 28% had an average level of ability to retrieve data and 40% were above average or highly skilled in retrieving data. Given that only 10% of designers use data as a method of evaluation, it is proposed that a factor that might explain this lack of data usage is the lack of ability to retrieve the data. The results presented above indicate that 60% of the designers rated themselves as having from no ability to an average ability to retrieve data. Both factors support the argument for the use of simple tools to aid tutors in retrieving and analyzing data. To establish how important the online resources are to a learner's success, the survey asked what proportion of a Moodle course's content was vital to the students being successful on their course. With 56% of the participants providing a large proportion of essential resources online for their learners, there is a need to evaluate the resources for effectiveness and utilization supporting the studies aimed to encourage evaluation through data mining. The participants were surveyed to identify which parts of the software would aid them in evaluating resources and if it would be used by the participants in the future. 
88% of the respondents responded positively to the usefulness of knowing the total number of students that accessed a resource. The high positive response level gives some confidence in the usefulness of the tool in general with the usage data being provided to course designers being seen as an effective metric. The popularity of a resource was identified as another useful metric with 74% of participants responding positively. This has a bearing on the level of acceptance of data mining for course evaluation by designers, showing that data when provided to designers has a very low rejection rate. The usefulness of knowing which resources had a low or zero access count was seen by 82% of the respondents as useful. A high level of positive response to the ability to be able to identify low usage resources was expected in this question, given that to evaluate the success of a resource, a key indicator of a poor resource would be that it is not being used. It was expected that the positive responses would be greater than the responses from the previous two questions. This was not the case, raising questions about the negative respondents. There is some indication that there is a core of respondents that have rejected Moolog's facilities in general. When questioned on the linking of resource utilization to achievement, 84% of the respondents were positive about its usefulness. This question focused on providing linked information, grades to usage, compared to the previous two questions that focused on single data items. A greater number of respondents saw this information as important compared to the basic utilization information from the previous two questions. This is an encouraging sign given that this type of information would require a high level of ability and would take a significant amount of time to produce without software, and gives some confidence that the survey is identifying positive feedback from the designers. Being able to identify an individual's usage of the course elements was seen by 86% of the respondents as a benefit. This question focused on identifying the level of importance of being able to mine data about individual students. This was deliberately placed within the survey to encourage the participants to consider data mining as more than just a course evaluation tool. The increased responses in the important to essential range may indicate that many of the designers are still more concerned about tracking what students are doing than evaluating the activities they provide to them. The participants were questioned about the usefulness of the software when applied to their working processes. The specific question asked was, if this software was made available to you to help you decide what resources and activities worked well with your students, would you use it? Of the 50 potential respondents, 5 provided null responses. From the valid responses, 65% responded positively, 29% were uncertain and 6% would not use the software. The average positive responses of 83% from the previous questions relating to the usefulness of the data combined with the 65% overall positive response to this question shows there is a clear shift in the acceptance of Moolog's features. There does seem to be a core element of responses in the range of 4% to 8% in each question where data mining is rejected. This is low rejection rate and does suggest that overall, there would be a good uptake of data mining in future. Prior to the demonstration of the software, designers were asked if they currently evaluated their courses. This resulted in a 37% no and a 63% yes split within the group. Subsequent to the Moolog demonstration, all participants were asked if they would adopt the software as part of their normal activities. The chart identifies that both the yes and no groups had comparable levels of acceptance of the software as part of the normal design and evaluation activities. In conclusion, the study found there is evidence to suggest that there is a technical skills barrier to data mining being used in education for evaluation of digital learning activities. Where a simple tool is provided, many of the participants would adopt it in the future, and when data mined information is provided to course designers, it is judged to have value by the majority of them. This evidence indicates that further focus on this may lead to greater levels of effective course evaluation, potentially leading to an improved learning experience for students. In terms of future work, it is hoped that the results will contribute to larger areas of study including the production of additional mechanisms for understanding how learners learn effectively when working independently online and how they can be encouraged to engage successfully with online learning systems that can be structured to their needs. It is also hoped that the software development undertaken within the study will provide software that could be used in the wider educational community and a framework for future VLE data analysis developments.